But the entire point of coming to Hades was to improve the culture in the modern world. Now, by some stroke of madness, we're going to release Jane Austen on the world. I mean, really, could we have let out Genghis Khan or Attila the Hun or someone who wouldn't cause so much damage? Did you know who Jane Austen is? Of course I do! Probably. She's that chick. 18th century British novelist? She was responsible for reality shows? Yes, she invented reality television in 1802 and exploited housewives in rural England. And then she created her own, her own electrical system to distribute her shows. Wow. And I thought women were capable of that. No, I was lying. I was counting on the fact that the frogs were on that right, but you could trick them. Uh, so we're still going to get Shakespeare? You're the god, you decide. I figured we'd just trick the frogs, find Shakespeare, and get back up to the world of the living. But if you want to turn some sort of dance club or something, be my guest. Sometimes, Santhius, I like you. Great. Awesome. But I don't like you. Like you, if you know what I mean. I want to do this adjusting that, sir. All right, then. I'm good enough for it. Don't worry. Whichever. I think it's a good idea to find us in my Hercules disguise. That way, the frogs won't be able to follow us. Hmm. That's actually really close to being a good idea. Thank you. Xanthius, my clever Hercules disguise, please. Oh gosh, I feel so manly now. So happy for you. Do you think you could paint some chest hair on me? We want to hold them on everyone up your ramp in it, sir. You're right. I don't want to frighten them. Very well. Which way? Have I been here before? Have you? No, I'm mortal. Sorry. I didn't want to insult you by assuming. Let's try that way. Why don't we just ask for directions? That's preposterous. A god does not ask for directions. A god demands directions. Of course, that'll probably work. Thank you. I knew I was brilliant. It started with young me, when I was just a twinkle in my father's eye. Zeus and a baby mama he had met that night. <laughs> sure, the other kids laughed at me when I said I was god of fertility in kindergarten, but after I explained a thing or two about fertility, they were much impressed. <laughs> I didn't ask for your life history. Too bad you're going to get it. If I know one thing to tell us, I am. <coughs> Teenage years. I went through some trouble as dad wasn't around. He was on a limp with spare to other women and having affairs with other baby mamas. The baby mamas and Zeus. I felt for them. So did he. Well, mostly he just felt them. I can see why Shakespeare's required. You're absolutely right. This modern culture has infected me. Next thing you know, I'll be on the Honey Boo Boo show. Speaking of which, there! Where? There! Honey Boo Boo? No! Aeacus! What? No! It's my half-brother Aeacus! Who the heck is he? Another one of Zeus's baby mama's kids. He holds the keys to the underworld. If anyone knows where Shakespeare is, it's this guy. All right! Hold on! You gotta get your Hercules on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, boy! 
torment his soul adrift. Look at her summon a list from my poetry. Have you got him in? No. Have you seen Hercules? Nope. 